Okay, here we are on uh, the giant live bike, which is actually a girl's bike, yes I know. This is um, low power mode. Ooh, that doesn't sound uh, doesn't sound like it's riding in it. It's giving you a bit of assistance. So that's low power. When you pedal a bit more, and it's uh, it really is noticeable. It really does give you a bit of a push. But if we turn it up a bit, that's in the, that's in by Eco Plus. There's a little bit more. It's not really noticeable until I start really putting a bit of power on the pedals there. Then we give it a bit more. And that's uh, quite noticeable. Not really much difference there at all, if any. Probably more torque if you go up a hill though. Now we're in the top speed mode. I think I'm pedalling at more than 15 anyway, just slightly over. So the motor's not actually doing anything. I've got to find um, somewhere it's going to slow it down a little bit. Uphill or whatever. Yeah, it holds its speed really well. It rolls really, really well. It's not like a hub motor based electric bike where you're fighting the hub motor almost. Be a bit naughty here and go through on this uh, pavement. When you uh, go like, it sort of kicks in much quicker on the higher power modes. And there is a bit of an abrupt cut off when you get over that 15 mile an hour threshold. As soon as you go off of it, like now with some high power, it launches. Which is very satisfying, I do have to say. Although it could cause um, difficulty on technical terrain, I will say that much. So let's turn it round. This looks like this little bit's a bit uphill. Not really, but you know, and the bike is up to the uh, 15 mile an hour pretty much instantly, and now we've got over that. So I'm pedalling, it's absolutely effortless. Brakes, need to say, try and run out now. They're really good. I'm in the wrong gear, but it doesn't seem to care, it carries on going. Very similar to the, um, the other high bike in the terms of uh, performance. Yeah, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this. The forks on this bike, even though they're SR Suntours, they also have adjustable compression and rebound. Something you know you just don't expect from a sun for fork. They are grease lubricated still, so it's you know it swings them roundabouts there, but they're not too bad, I have to say. Fantastic. I'll just show you on the forks quick. Now you have got adjustable rebound and compression. This would normally be a lockout and it would normally just go all the way around. But there's little clicks look if you listen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine clicks of rebound. And here's the uh, compression adjuster 
on the bottom of the fork there so yeah pretty impressed with that without the um, pedal power out the uh, motor power over the 15 mile an hour limit it's not too bad it does ride quite well and yeah that concludes this video